Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we're checking out some knives I have in for sharpening. And the owner said I can show them on the channel, so I'm uh, going to show the few knives he sent. Now, this is the Migoron Centurion 2. This is the first time I've gotten to try this. And holy cow, this is smooth. <laughs> this is so smooth. It is buttery smooth. This one, I do think this one's better than the first one by far. This is really, really nice. Super comfortable in the hand. The reverse flick is amazing. I really like the detent on this. The detent is on point while also being just stupid, stupid smooth. M390, titanium, marbled carbon fiber on both sides. Um, titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer. Now it does have a little bit thicker geometry, but I do notice that this is actually better geometry than the number one. So um, beautiful satin finish. Luckily this is padded, um, but yeah, beautiful satin finish. Looks really good. It has kind of a hand satin on the, the flats up here and it is a flat grind. Drop point blade, beautiful swedge on top. Good access to the lock bar. The thumb studs are slippery, but they they chamfer this edge around right here, so it actually gives you a great place to put your finger. And that's what I mean with the reverse flick. You get right to that that uh, the thumb stud. Really nice. Now there's a little bit of a rattle. I'm gonna figure out what that is. I'm guessing it's just the uh, the screw back here, the pin that goes through the backspacer. Not a big deal. I'll deal with that. I deal with th that stuff all the time. So we'll get that tuned up and get a good edge on here. Now let's check out the next one because we got some awesome knives in here. So the next one is a Monterey Bay Knives uh, Turbo. I've actually tried a titanium frame lock version of this. This one's in ZDP 189 and I believe they heat treat it around 67, 68 HRC, which is insanity. For those of you that don't understand that, when you heat treat an, a steel, um, the HRC is basically how hard it is. So a softer HRC, you know, will lead to a tougher knife. You know, it's not as hard, but the edge doesn't last as long. When you get a high HRC, it makes the steel a lot harder, it makes the edge last longer, it makes it cut longer, you know, and in a lot of cases, it, it, you can get a lot sharper edge. Um, now, um, this is on another level of hardness. 67 HRC, it's hard to grasp what that is, but a lot of like the M390 you see and stuff is right around 61 HRC. 6061. Um, we're happy when we see 62 from M390. 62, 63 is like the best you're going to see with M390. This is 67. This is like what Rockstead does. So incredibly hard. I have sharpened some of Monterey Bay knives, ZDP 189, um, and it is incredible. It takes an insanely sharp edge. Oh, yeah. And if you want to see me sharpen and hear my thoughts on the ZDP 189, um, I'm going to put a little card up here in the corner. I'm going to start doing that for you guys. So if you guys see the cards flash up in the corner of the screen, that's a video for you guys to watch. If you guys want to hear more of my opinion or the video on that subject or thing. Now, the geometry on these are really thick. Though <laughs> This is a thick boy. Uh, more for harder use type of grind. Um, I'm not sure where their idea was behind this design. Um, it does feel really good for like self-defense. It's super comfortable in the hand. Um, and it has a, a really strong, durable puncturing tip in a way, almost like a spear point in a way. But the belly or like the behind the edge thickness is nice and thick, not nice and thick, but it's thicker. So it's not going to be the best for like breaking down cardboard or cutting things. That being said, yes, you can lay back the edge angle and make the cutting a lot better, a lot better. But the cutting geometry is just not the best on these. But for regular EDC, it's fine. And I think that's what they were going for. With just a basic EDC, you know, universal, it's kind of tough and... um you know, it can, it can cut just about anything you throw at it. It's just not going to be one of your long-term hard use cutters. It's going to be more of a, take it out of your pocket, make the cut and it's durable doing it. Um, now the action is insane. 
really good. The detents are so good on these. The last one I tried, which was a frame lock, did have a stronger detent, but this one still has a, man, listen to that. Snappy detents. And it's false shut action. The flipper tab's nice and comfortable. Um, The liner, not too bad to get to, it's all right. Nice and centered, titanium milled pocket clip. And I think this is a steel backspacer. I actually put a magnet to it and it did magnetize. So I, I'm not positive. I, th I think it's uh, some sort of stainless steel, but the, the clip is titanium. The liner is steel, but they do make a titanium frame lock version of this. Let's get to the next one. Now the next one is another Monterey Bay knives. And it's another, it's a liner lock version again of the pincher. Is this the pincher or is this the, um, I can't think of it, but it's the ZDP 189 again, 67, 68 HRC again. It has a great factory edge, but we're going to put a nasty new edge on there. These are very snappy. Now I've only tried the frame lock version of this. This one is the micarta and it is. Decent micarta, titanium milled pocket clip, and backspacer, great jimping on the flipper tab, nice strong detent, super snappy. My one biggest complaint is this liner. The liner is, they have no cutout. It's just there, and I don't like that. I wish they put something there to give you room to come from the side instead of like trying to find it in the front here. And it has a little bit of lock stick, but that's not a big deal. I just wish they gave you more room to get to it. Super snappy though. And it is an awesome knife. Great EDC size, um, great blade shape. It's like a little claw. Um, this would work great for like going around boxes and stuff. And with ZDP 189 heat treated the way it is, whew, yeah, this edge will last a good while cutting just regular EDC stuff. All right, let's get to the next one. We have one left, and this one is pretty awesome. We've already checked one of these out, but I want to show you guys something because I got one of these, remember? I just did a full review on the Stunner, the Bade Modern Design Stunner. Now, this shows me exactly what I was talking about. And it justifies everything I said about it. So I said that it felt a little gritty. It felt like, you know, it didn't feel smooth. Listen, this one has a nice snap to it. Stupid smooth. The, even the acoustics are better than the one I have. If I would have reviewed this one, it would have been a little bit different. This is very, very nice. So I think I just got one that, man. Super snap. I mean, my detent on the one I have is really good. The action is really good and it's breaking in really good, but I can tell this one came a little bit better. And man, listen to that sound. I don't know if it's coming over the mic. It has a ting to it. Anyways. Stupid smooth, really good, very comfortable in the hand, great blade shape. I did a full review, so watch my full review if you want to see some more of this. I'll actually pop a little thing up on the corner of the screen for you guys. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.